So I'm going to do a quick little experiment. I want to test the strength of the Pureflex 40 adhesive because there's no real data on the, uh, on the strength of the adhesive on fiberglass. So this is the section we cut out of the roof the other day when we were installing our Max Air fan. And you can see here, there's the OSB and there's the fiberglass layer. Let's see if it can get focused. Move my face out of the way, there we go. All right, so you can see this fiberglass layer and the OSB layer. So I want to test how well this Pureflex 40 bonds fiberglass. So I'm gonna cut a small section off and I'm gonna try bonding it to itself. Seagulls are making all the noise outside. So I'm gonna test this for the strength of the bond for putting the uh, solar panels on the roof. So I'm gonna braid both surfaces. This is the square I've just cut out of here. So I've got some 80 grit and I'm just gonna give it That's got a nice key, and um, I'll do the same here. Okay, now we'll show up. We've got what we've got. That's a nice clean. That's a nice clean. Okay, top back on the isopropyl. I've abraded this section here. You can hear it now. So there's a key there and I've abraded that section there with some 80 grit on both. And I'm gonna sandwich them both together. It's nice and clean. So let's put a good blob on. We want to test it out nice and right. And then let's sandwich the two pieces together and we'll leave a two to three mil bead um, if I was doing it properly I'd clean up the edges so let's clean up the edges cure time four millimeters for 24 hours so this should take 24 hours to cure off. It's been a couple of days and I'm back to the Pureflex mounted on the fiberglass. Let's get it to a place where you can see it. Let's bring it up. This is far too dark. So you can see my sandwich here. You can see the piece that I cut out from here and adhered to here. And that's the piece I cut out for the Max Air fan. You can see the bond in there, how well that has bonded to this and how nice that is. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is take a few measurements and I'm gonna suspend this from the ceiling and uh, see how we go. So I'm just gonna get some rough surface areas and depth and it will be rough because I might have to go and get my, uh, my gear from the car. Let's have a look. United Utilities can come in handy so I am 40 by 45, roughly, 40 by 45. There we go, that's a bit better. 40 by 45 millimeter for the surface area and the depth of the sealant. Is about four mil. Four mil. Now I could get the caliper out and be more exact, but I think that's going to be plenty for what we're going to work out. Um, so give me a second. I'll set another camera up. I'll get the drill because that's in the van and we'll suspend this from a roof beam. Let's try there. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
five kilogram of resin. Brand new, unopened. Five kilogram, we'll start with five kilogram. And that's holding five. Can you see? There we go. So I've got five kilo swing in there. Now I'll weigh this. This one weighs 3.5, because I've used a bit, but it's still all right. Let's uh, load it up. Right, that is 8.5 kilo hanging on there now. A 3.5 kilo. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I'm testing the sheer strength of the Puriflex. So just be careful that doesn't fall on your toe. But I bonded that piece of fiberglass, the fiberglass side, I've cut it out of there, to that piece of fiberglass. And I've got it now, that, that's the only thing holding up that eight and a half kilo is the fiberglass. Right, I'll leave you to Professor Potts. And I'm going to, uh, let's weigh this. This is quite heavy. Stinks, really. I need to get my eye out Resin. Uh, this is 4498, <laughs> this one. 4498. Let's put that through there, that through there, and that through there. Oh dear. Right, 4498. 4.4. Nine. That's 4.5 kilo, isn't it, really? We're not to a point zero one of a kilo. That is somewhere in the region of 13 kilo now, being held on the Pureflex fiberglass to fiberglass with a Pureflex sandwich in the middle, and it's just hooked over. And it doesn't look that, it doesn't look like there's any slippage at all. And you can see the other cameras here, that's filming directly. And you can see from the back, there's no fixings or anything. It's just purely holding itself up on that pure flex. 2.43. So we'll just go 2.4 kilo. And we'll strap this onto it. This is a bit tangled up here. Yeah, the paint cans are more susceptible to pop, aren't they? Let's, let's be honest. And we don't really want paint popping all over the floor, or me. It looks like it's holding it. All right, so that is now uh, 15 and a half kilo. We're past half a bag of cement. Oh, I've got another plastic. Uh, I've got some Feb. Let's weigh that. Uh, 3.65. point. Six, five kilogram. Let's strap that on. Wowie. I don't know how much more it's gonna take. And there's still no real slippage. No real slippage at all. There we go. Let's just move that out of the way. We're getting close to the bench, but it's still suspended freely. 3.4. That's the weight of the fire extinguisher. We can just hook that on and that should swing. Oh. 2.275 kilo. And that's gonna take us 25 kilo on there now. And I'm getting to the limit of what I can hang really. Two. 0.25 kilogram. I mean, I'm as near as damn it to 25 kilo on there. So that's a bag of cement hanging on it. Oh yeah, there's some serious weight in there and that little bit is just holding it. There's definitely a little bit of slippage. It has moved, you can see here now. That extra weight has moved it. Spin it around. So getting up to that 25 kilo mark, 
you can see here now where I started from and where I am now. So you can see this slippage here. Just put a bit more light on without me in the way. There you go. I know it's terrible camera work. I'm sorry. But you can see the slippage. You see where it's moved. It's moved a full centimetre with 25 kilo on. But it's still holding. I wonder if it'll spring back when I lift it off. I'm going to lift it off now and see what happens. Is it going back or is it staying where it's slipped to? The PVA. Resin. Look at it now. It has sprung back a bit. It really has. The elasticity of it has brought it back. I mean, it's not completely back to where it was. But it's somewhere near. Let's have a quick look now. So you can see the elasticity has brought it back up to near enough where we started. Right. That's the experiment complete. I've not worked out the exact shear force because I couldn't get enough weight on. Got 25 kilo there. Mm.